Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the frequency function to count up cases within different intervals. So here we have a data set uh, with the largest cities in the world, starting with Tokyo, Japan. Uh, we have the population of the city and the population of the metropolitan area. And I just got this data off of the web. It has the 100 largest cities. Of course, the last row is 101 because the first row is uh, called the header row has the labels of each variable. Now what I want to do here is I want to get a frequency distribution of cities. Um, I'm going to do this for their metro population um, because I already named the metro population I'm going to delete this so I can show you how I did it. This is the metro population variable. What I want to do is get counts of cities that are in different ranges of population. So, for example, I want to get the number of cities that have a population of 3 million to 5 million, um, and then the number of cities that have populations from 5 to 7, 7 to 9, etc. So, the first thing I would do is highlight the entire column. I do that by clicking on the D above. Don't click just there, but the D and you get a little arrow going down. And I'm going to call this Metropop. Okay. Now, already I can use the maximum and minimum functions to get the um, population with the minimum, um, the minimum population here and the maximum. Of course, the maximum is going to be 34,997,000 max. There's the maximum there, which is, of course, equal to the population of Tokyo. I can get the minimum metro pop, which is 3,009,884, which is the population of Chengchun in China. And now what I'm going to do is build a frequency table. So I'm going to open a new sheet. And I'm going to start by entering in the upper bounds that I want um, of each of the intervals. So, for example, if I wanted the cities, um, the count of the cities that are from um, the minimum, which is just above 3 million, to 5 million, I would write in the upper bound, which would be 5 million. And I can format that by right-clicking and putting a separator, comma separator for the thousands, like that, and since it's not money, I'm going to take away the decimal places. And then in the next row here, I want the next upper bound. So if I had first one, uh, first category is going to be from 3 to 5, the next one's going to be from 5 to 7. So I can do is press equals take the 5 million in A1 and add 2 million to it. And then I want to add 2 million again, so I can just click on that and drag it down to get 9 million, 11 million, and I can drag it all the way until I get up to, should stop at 35 million since the maximum is Tokyo with just under 35 million people in the metro area. So now these are my categories. So what I want to do is get let me get the number of cities between 33 and 35, between 31 and 33, and so on. To do that, and now we have to really watch carefully, is I'm going to highlight the empty column next to these bins here. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to do one thing first before doing that. I'm going to highlight this column, just these numbers, and I can call this whatever I want. I'm going to call it the um, bins. Okay, these are the bins. Actually, we got one additional one in there, which I don't want. So I'm gonna. If you make a mistake in entering, doing that, you can always go to the formulas in the name manager and delete. Actually, we want to just go to A16. So I'm gonna edit that like that. Yes. So now bins is from 
A1 to A16. Now, to get the frequencies, the numbers within each of these categories, I highlight the empty column right next to it. And you have to do this pretty carefully. Enter frequency. Now remember, I want to get the frequencies of Metropop, so I put Metropop in first, then the bins, which refers to the upper bounds of the columns next to it. Now, instead of just pressing Enter like I usually do, because this is a function that operates on multiple cells rather than just one, I have to press Shift, Control, Enter. And now it'll tell you that it's operating multiple cells by putting these little additional brackets around the formula. And so here now I have the numbers of cities in each, within each um, of these categories from, if I want to make it more descriptive, I can do this, I can put 3 million, like that, and I'm going to add million there, and I'm going to put the lower bounds here. Again, I'll right, right click and format them as numbers with no decimal places and commas with a thousand place. And then in between, so I put the word two, which I can copy down. And so and I can give this table a title. So now we have just a simple table that shows the population ranges and the numbers of cities that are in the range.